Well, hello there, beautiful internet and awesome creatures of the beyond. Today, first, I'm going to make a disclaimer. These are truly just my opinions. They should not ever be taken as facts or as suggestions or anything like that. And I know you're smart and awesome enough to understand that because you guys are amazing. So, what is the regret of an artist? Well, if I would to think of um, an example from my personal life, is that when I make a video, after I finish it, I'm like, oh man, I wish I would have put that because I thought of another cool idea or cool concept or example that I wanted to add after I finished the whole, uh, the whole recording. Or sometimes I'm like, man, I thought so many cool ideas in the shower and I'm like, I, I wish I could just bring the phone in the shower and record everything at that moment in time because I'm so inspired. But then you would hear in the background the wolves screaming in agony because I start singing in the shower and yeah, nobody wants that. <laughs> so yeah. Um, but when it comes to your art, you finish a piece and then you are in a dilemma because you look at your work and think like maybe that would have uh, could have used some extra details or i could have added some lines in a different way to make it more interesting and so on and i see a lot of people um well mainly artists of course but uh th that struggle with this they want to always perfect their work and I was kind of the same in the past. And then I thought, well, first of all, I should impose a rule for myself. Once I consider a work of art or whatever I'm doing finished, I should not touch it. If I really want to improve or create uh, extra details, that's just the small retouches that I can do afterwards. But at the end of the day, I should learn from this uh, experience and I should not regret it. Of course, regrets are far more complex than this, than they, they are related to your, our emotions, are one of our deepest emotions. And I'll get into that uh, a little bit later. But the idea is that once we finished our work, we should set it aside. And next time when we do something similar or something that inspires our from something from our previous work, we should try to implement those concepts that we thought at that moment. And then we can create new and interesting ideas that we never thought would be possible and would surprise us. That's how we always surprise ourselves. But regret obviously is is more related for artists in a way to well desires or painful memories and it's not only to something that you missed in your uh, time it's an opportunity that maybe is boiling with da deep down within and you're stuck with it and i can give you one of my personal experiences in my past that really impacted me in a very, very dramatic way as I grew up, as I became more vintage, let's call it like that. So when I was in college, I, uh, I had in the back of the buildings where I was living, a place where we would dispose of the trash. And as I was going by, I saw a family, it was a woman with three kids. And they were very atypical. They weren't looking like the general beggars that uh, usually go around the trash and so on. So as I was passing by, I heard the conversation and it really broke my heart. Uh, the woman, well, I don't know exactly the situation or anything like that, but probably it was, they, they got st struck by some unfortunate event and they ended up on the streets and the woman was looking for food for the children and that one of the children found a piece of uh, 
well, it was rotten pizza. And the mother, and I cannot forever forget this image in my mind. She said, like, close your eyes and imagine it's something tasty. And it was, it, it really broke me. And all I could do was, like, I, I went to her and I gave her all the money that I had at that moment. And it wasn't a lot. It was, like, around $10 in general currency, let's say. And the biggest regret for me was, like, I wish I could have done more. But obviously, we, we are not superheroes. We cannot solve all the problems in the world. And... Not everything can be sorted with money. Sometimes a lot of support and moral support can also, because those people would have had their own, I don't know, they would have been proud of themselves not to accept anything more, you know, like, but still, it would, could have been interpreted differently. And I learned that the hard way in my life. And it's difficult. We, we live with this decisions because every action has a reaction in this world and we have to own it so obviously me trying to do more than what i could have done that is wrongfully in my own mind you know because i criticize myself on my limitations and i hope that the cash that i gave did make a difference for that person and it helped the kids at least eat for that day i don't know what happened afterwards we never know. Life is very unpredictable. And life is not always the most pink place to be, you know? There's a lot of shading of different colors, emotions, and actions and reactions. We are not in control. And sometimes the most negative outcomes can come to fruition and we cannot do anything about it. Well, at least to some extent. But trying to criticize my past self is wrong in the sense that the past my past self is what brought me to be myself in the present to learn from my experience in the past means to grow to outgrow them and create them as a template for any future events to at least know how to make it better in the future and I'm not talking just about this event. I'm talking in general about all the actions we take in our life. And sometimes it's difficult because these regrets are like wounds in a way. But in my personal opinion, if given enough time and enough nurture, or no personal nurture, we can heal and overcome these wounds. And... It's difficult because we are sometimes too inexperienced and we, we try to look from our own narrow perspective. We don't try to broaden it. And we keep those regrets and they boil up and they grow and they grow and they grow and we, we feel stuck. So owning our past decisions and accepting them that we couldn't have done any better is one step forward into improving ourselves and helping ourselves to go towards a better future, let's say. And uh, now related to this, I, I remember there was a movie, and I, it was a very sad movie and very impactful, about a child, and he was very sick. I don't remember the name of the movie. Did, I've seen it a long time ago. Uh, and this child had one plan he wanted to make the world a better place and he said the, he, he made a list of rules if he helps free people those free free people have to help other free people in turn and he would propagate this help in a way that it would make the world help each other constantly you know it would be exponential and then uh, obviously things never go to plan and a lot of people took advantage of him and because he was a child, he was obviously naive. But what struck me is that towards the end of the movie, uh, the child dies because of his illness. But the people that he helped eventually realized that that child gave them a second, a second chance, something to do better, so, so something 
an opportunity for them to become better. And it took his death for them to have that realization. But they did manage to overcome their limitations and their regrets to the point where they wanted to help others. So yeah, it was a very beautiful concept. I, I'm i not going to say that this is the best solution to everything in, world, in this world, but, you know, it all starts with us. And believe it or not, this is deeply embedded in us. Somebody said once that <laughs> we are still in, in the early stages of our revolutions. We are still monkeys that look downwards to see the holes in the ground so we don't fall into them. And that helps us to avoid obstacles. But we still don't look forward to see the broader picture. And sadly enough, we don't even look upwards to see further away, to see the horizons that we can expand to. I'm talking as a species, not as individuals. And if we would band together uh, and put our best minds to work and really improve on uh, our morals, globally speaking, we could always overcome these challenges. And this, this propagates into many, many branches and many subjects, but specifically art is what inspires us to, to create something beautiful and something intelligent and emotionally deep. And this is what we should strive towards inspiring others through our work because our work our work tells the story that we feel so if you have a lot of regrets within you're going to paint those regrets on your canvas and people will feel them and if we work on ourselves and we improve ourselves over time and we start to to paint that on our canvas our story of improvement people will also inherit these feelings and try to improve themselves. It's a sort of therapy, let's say. <laughs> I don't know if it makes a lot of sense, but as I said, they're just my personal opinions, thoughts that go in my mind. So yeah, the world could, it's not always the most beautiful place to be, but it's also filled with wonders that can surprise us and can bring some beauty to to everything if we give it time and patience. So, catch you guys next time. Stay awesome. And bye, 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 bye.